Hello, my name is Shivani. I'm one of the new YSANT tutors here, and I'm here to help with a chemistry problem involving percent composition. Um, so glucose is a simple sugar containing 40% carbon, 6.7% hydrogen, and 53.3% oxygen. And the question asks to calculate the empirical formula. And these are the molar masses of each of the elements, um, C, H, and O. So the first step in the percent composition problems is we need to assume a 100 gram sample. So this would mean that the sample has 40 grams carbon, 6.7 grams hydrogen and 53.3 grams oxygen. Now, these percentages are not always going to add up to 100, but in most cases, we can assume a 100 gram sample to convert the percentages of the elements into their respective gram um, counterparts. So the second step is um, Take the grams of each element using these values in step one, and we can use that to calculate the moles of each element. So remember that moles is equal to grams of grams of the substance divided by the molar mass. So the moles of carbon, let me use a different color here. Moles of carbon is 40 grams divided by 12.01. And that'll be 3.33. And then we have the moles of hydrogen, which I'm going to type in blue. 6.7 divided by And then we have the moles of oxygen, which I'm going to write in purple. All right. So now we're going to take these moles. So this would be step three. So we're going to take the moles of each element that we got in step two and divide them by the smallest number of moles that we ever calculate. So in this case, uh, carbon and oxygen, um, they are tied for the smallest amount of moles because you have 3.33 moles of C and 3.33 moles of O, and then hydrogen is 6.63. So for example, let's, uh, let's choose um, uh, the moles of O in this case. Let's divide each the moles of each element by the moles of O. So you have 3.33 moles carbon divide by 
moles oxygen. And then you would get one mole of carbon per every one mole of oxygen. And then you have 6.63 moles hydrogen divide by 3.33 moles oxygen. Then you would get two moles hydrogen for every one mole oxygen. So now we can determine the empirical formula. So since there's one mole of carbon per every one mole of oxygen and two moles of hydrogen per every one mole oxygen, your empirical formula here would be C, sorry, It'll be C H two O. So this formula corresponds with our calculations here. So you have two moles of hydrogen for one mole of oxygen, one mole of carbon for every one mole of oxygen. So this would be our final answer for the empirical formula. <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> excuse me, I just got a tickle there. But anyway, this pretty much sums up um, the answer for this problem, along with all the explanations. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section. I hope this helps. And I hope you have a wonderful day.